Hello and welcome to our bathroom. I'm currently sitting on the toilet. Uh, thanks to my buddy Chad that you probably remember from our video in Palm Springs. We gave a tour of his rig. He actually talked about the toilet and their 27 foot being kind of narrow. And I concur with him now that I've been in this 27 foot and sat on his toilet. So the door's open and I can swing out here. But Chad recently installed this bum wash. It's from Tushy. And <laughs> they are quite hilarious. According to the manual, this little part right here, it goes in the toilet and you can adjust it by doing the little knob there. <laughs> that is the adjustable nozzle, which, quote, sprays your butt, end quote. But I'm going to put this thing on. He said it was pretty, pretty tight fit. And there's not much room over here on the side. So I'm going to attempt to install this on this rig and we'll see how it all works out. Join me. And the cool thing about the Airstream toilet is it's really not that big a deal to get off. You pop out these caps here. You can loosen the, what pulls the toilet seat on. And I like this because it's easier to clean. Sometimes easier if it's just, you can just remove the whole toilet seat and take it outside and spray it off with a hose or you can spray it with bleach and you don't get the bleach water everywhere inside the rig. All right, next piece is to disconnect your water down down below, which goes down below there. You see the white line back in the hole there. And then that, this connects into that, and then this connects to the bottom of the tushy. So I've determined that I cannot use this line because it's not somehow not the standard fix line, so I might have to go find another one. But until then, I can still install the top part. If you ever find your toilet seat slides left to right, you can pop these little caps off right up here. And they're old underneath and just get your screwdriver in tight from the top. The toilet does toilet seat does fit with the tushy. They have all the controls over here. It is a very tight fit, particularly right here against this wall. So back in the bathroom again. I made a new line, water line to go on the back. So this will come out of the existing line under the cabinet, go across, up, and across. That's a very similar thing to what's there now, except it comes all the way across and just up and in. But this will go directly to the toilet, giving me a way to shut this off and shut the other thing off too. So the braided line will hook up here and go to the bidet. So that is what I created. And it's not exactly straight. You see that it's on purpose. So this goes straight across, but this is at a bit of an angle because the way it comes in on the cabinet is also at a bit of an angle. So I'm gonna to try to video this as best I can, but it's pretty tight quarters in here. So basically what I've got to do is I've got to cut the PEX line and it's just easy to do with a razor blade. I'll cut the PEX line, put it on. Um, I use these metal, crimps for things that are going to be there permanently and but I have um, the plastic crimps so these plastic crimps work very well I've used them in a number of places many times before and they they crimp much easier with a set of pliers than because you don't have to have the special crimping tool and I'm gonna tell you one thing if you've ever tried to rip these suckers off uh, grab a beverage because they are impossible and they just drive me bananas. So you can see the existing water line comes out of the cabinet here. Here's your shut off valve, turns up, goes into the back of the toilet here. This, there's a flexible line right here that feeds the toilet itself, but uh, um, the water's off, but I've got to cut this line so it's gonna leak somewhat. So I'm gonna grab a little towel and I'm gonna cut this in a way where if I need to in the future, I can just reattach this no problem with a straight line fitting. So it's a half inch fitting on this end and a three eighths fitting on the other end. The original line that came with it was a three eighths on both ends. So tighten on the three eighths inch here. Line goes back behind over here. And it goes down, 
that line comes in the back of the toilet and that so time to turn the water pump on so water pump is on so this little handle here makes that thing move in route and you have a couple settings so you have a wash nozzle turn this way and a bum wash to go that way so nozzle wash that's how you clean it off so that works and then you turn it the other way I'm going to be careful how much I turn this on because that's how you wash it up. You ready to check out the bidet? Yep. Why not? It's yours. You're not, you're not a fan of cold water on the bun? No, I am not. I thought Pepper would be. I don't know. She's pretty weird. She'd be totally weirded <laughs> out. I have no doubt. At least she gets tied around her rear end and she doesn't know what to do. Yeah. I'll give it a go because I like using those things much better than wiping. So after a number of uses of the Tushy, I give it five stars. I think it's a really excellent addition to the rig. One consideration is boondocking uh, with the little bit of water that you have able to carry with you. And in this rig, it's significantly less than the previous rig we had. So we're down to 37 gallons of fresh. So uh, it may be something we don't use while boondocking, but sitting standard in an RV park with full hookups or availability for water, I think it's an excellent addition to your rig. A couple other things. We, Blair and I, do not put toilet paper in our RV toilet, and we haven't in the last three rigs. Reason is, we, in a, uh, three rigs ago, we had using RV rapid dissolving toilet paper. We had a black tank issue where the black tank actually fell off the rig. It was not an Airstream, it was another manufacturer. But when the tank fell down, we realized there was you know, I called it three inches of toilet paper concrete in the bottom of that uh, holding tank. That's after being flushed every single time it was used. Now, granted that that trailer set stagnant most of the time, so it was not able to get churned around, so to speak, but uh, we still had the three inches of toilet paper concrete, even with a black tank flush. And RV toilet paper is generally not very good, so we don't put toilet paper in our toilet. So the Tushy now saves um, toilet paper space. But what we do use when toilet paper is used is just a little trash can beside the toilet. Uh, many people find this odd, but uh, I lived in Asia for many years, and that's the way life is over there, no problem. And it's not a big deal. Uh, it doesn't smell. It doesn't cause issues. We use a small little grocery bag and take out the trash bag daily or every other day uh, depending on these but the tushy also eliminates that and cleaning your tanks if you don't put toilet paper down your toilet cleaning your tanks is much much quicker and much much easier in my opinion so choose your own adventure it's up to you but if you have any questions reach out to us on our website 13adventures.com there's a contact us link there check it out or leave comments down below have a great day everyone and happy happy tushy